We all know our next guest as the super sarcastic, hilariously funny Vicky on NBC's Suddenly Susan. Take a look. Uh, child, child, um, ch uh, baby, baby. Oh, okay, baby, baby, chair, ba oh, babysitter. Yes, we the 12 parties. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Come get it, come get it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Who's your mama? Who's your mama? Talk to daddy, talk to daddy. Stop that. So funny. She's also on the new sitcom, the animated sitcom, Dilbert. Please welcome the always enjoyable Kathy Griffin. What did you bring me? What did you bring me, Kath? I say what up, club. The munchkins are here. I brought Dunkin' Donut munchkins, which are the whole of the donut. And um, I grew up on these. Yes. And um, are they a staple of your Chub Club plan? Yes. Although I'll tell you, <laughs> I um, I like the chocolate honey dip the best. Uh -huh. But I think this bag only has the powdered and the plain, which really? is sort of my idea of a diet. No kidding. Just plain donuts, not the icing. Yeah. Well, actually, I think the Dunkin' Munchkins are actually diet on the Chub Club because you're not having the whole donut. Just the whole. Yeah, you're having less. Just the munchkin. Just the whole. It's like, like, it's like a little nothing. munchkin. Nothing. Nothing, yeah. please. Now, do you don't diet? Do you? Because you're always fit and trim. No. To tell you the truth, I the like. When I stopped dieting, my weight stabilized. It was one of those stories where I always dieted when I was in my 20s, and I always thought I was fat. And then um, I sort of stopped worrying about it, and then I, my weight sort of stabilized. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get to try that. OK, good. <laughs> Forget about it. Save Don't it worry works. about it anymore. How's mom and dad? Well, oh, Rosie, so much has happened. What? What? Uh, well, first of all, um, they moved into a new condo. Nice. Yes. Florida, no, right? No, <laughs> no, Santa Monica, California. Oh. You know, my father's a very, exactly, shout out. My father um, is a very famous actor. Very famous actor. Yes, yes. Um, he's just done a national rice checks, so get ready for those to fly off the shelves. <laughs> he can move products like nobody. And um, so they got a new condo. Now, my sister Joyce and I, we had a plan. Yeah. My parents, God love them, they still think it's the depression, and um, they won't throw anything away. So what we had to do was we had to accidentally lose a lot of their things. Really? Yes. And my mother was appalled, but I'm not kidding. They had towels that were literally threadbare. Mm. And then my mom gets really hostile. Like if you say, Mom, why don't you get a new towel? For God's sake, it's not good enough for you. You're so high and mighty. Just use it. So, you know. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, one thing that my parents, my parents to this day, well, until we threw them away. Do you remember Le Menu's, the frozen, like, they were like one of oh, the sure. first, like, frozen sort of diet dinners. Yeah. Anyway, my parents um, used to love Le Menu's. And they came on, we used to call them Chinette plates. They are like microwavable plates, and they were sort of plasticky. Yeah, yeah, I And remember. they were sturdy, right? Right, right. So my parents, to this day, use Le Menu plates to microwave everything. Really? Because they don't understand that later on in, in the world, um, through evolution, other plates were made to be microwavable. Oh, no, only the Le Menu, the other ones melt. That's what my mom said. They melt, Kathleen, they'll melt. And so they have, like, these disgusting Le Menu plates with, like, all the brown scratches from being cut on after oh, years. Oh, that's years. sad. So we had to accidentally lose those. Yeah. And my mother was shocked and appalled, and I thought she was going to burst into tears. Now, did you stay with them when you remodeled? Because I know you remodeled. Yes. Um, first of all, let me just say this about remodeling. Now, I know. Oh, you know what I want to ask you? What? Aren't you friends with Ellen Burstyn? Yes. All right, I heard the funniest thing. I heard that Ellen Burstyn goes to your house or the house of a friend and then rearranges your furniture. She's been known to do that, yes. I think that's fantastic. But she has a very good eye. How can I book her? You can book her. <laughs> Call her up. Say, Ellen, my living room needs you. She'll fly in, I'm sure. And so she just comes in and she says, OK, the composition of the room should be like this? Exactly. Or... And the painting, she knows how to hang them at the right level and the order of them. She's fabulous. Really? Her house is honestly one of the nicest houses I've ever seen. Really? And it's not like ga or, or gaudy or ostentatious. Yeah. It's very, very tasteful. and. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I want her to come to my house and rearrange stuff. All right, get me Ellen Burstyn on the phone, would you? We'll see if oh, we can. Oh, look at you with the power. Yeah, Mine you know, too. there you go. Oh, you get wow. yourself a talk show, and this will be you, Kath. <laughs> get me Ellen Burstyn, get me De Niro, and get me Penny Marshall. Those three, <laughs> boom, eating out of my hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love it. But what life. about the remodeling? What OK, about... so the re first of all, my tip is um, if someone is going through a remodel, to me, it's like a haircut. You don't criticize once they've done it, because they can't change anything. So I'm so sick of people coming to my house going, oh, you knocked that wall down? Ooh, I wouldn't have. You don't live here, shut up. Yeah, and, um, yeah sure. But anyway, uh, so, so the remodel is like my life. I'm a huge house nut and all that stuff. So one day, um, I don't like to, you know, when I go to work, I don't like to leave one of the various contractors, electricians, or whatever alone in the place. Because I, I have, a, like, this vision that I, someday I'll pull down my drywall and there's going to be porno mags and beer cans. 
<laughs> you know, yeah. I've heard stories like that, exactly. you know, where the contractor's just like, hang out at your house. So um, I s asked my parents if they could sort of supervise. It's so funny that you'd be afraid of that being in the wall. Like, you couldn't just throw it away. <laughs> well, I just don't want to know what they do. I mean, okay, I, I okay, want Okay, okay, I understand. I just need don't to know there. that they're doing just, their job. I should have just left that alone. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. All right, so what did you do? You hired so anyway, somebody to watch that? No, I hired my parents. Oh, no. I hired them for free. But anyway, <laughs> I, um, I said, can you guys come over and just, you know, just sort of sit there and try to be intimidating. So anyway, right. So anyway, then a couple hours later, I was at work, and I thought, ooh, maybe not such a good idea. So I call my mom, and I go, what's going on? She says, oh, Kathleen, I don't know why you make Pepe carry those heavy tiles all the way up the stairs. We had to make him two sandwiches, and now he's relaxing. <laughs> and I'm like, what? In the meantime, Pepe's taking me to the bank. And then he, believe me, you know, contractors see me coming a mile away. And Jorge has a niece who has a kidney problem. So we just sent him home with some coffee. I'm like, what? <laughs> And then my father, who like fancies himself a fix-it guy, but my dad has this way of fixing things. It's like it's like f handyman like fixing by swearing, where he thinks if he takes an instrument and swears, things will get fixed. What so do you I'll mean? go home and I'll walk in and I'll hear Maggie, get that damn Phillips head, damn it! And he just swears and yells. And my mom runs, oh, I'll get it, Johnny. Let me get the wrench. Oh Christ! All right, oh Jesus! And they, I'm sorry, you're Catholic. Nobody swears more than Catholics. That's Come true. On. It's true. Come on. <laughs> But then we go and we ask forgiveness <laughs> exactly. and all is white clean on Sunday. It's the best trick Catholics ever made. Do what you want during the week. Sunday, say you're sorry. That's how it works. Um, Cap, yeah. you're so funny. And oh, first stop. of all, Dilbert, look at this. All this Dilbert stuff she's signing. She yes, kissed for something eBay. for eBay. Look at this Dilbert M&M dispenser. I love this. You push this. Push the mouse. He types and then the M&M's come out. There you go. Yes. Now, Kath, will you stick around? We're going to play a Dunkin' Munchkin game. Yes. And we're going to try to win the audience some Dunkin' Donuts. Well, that is the best joke. Is that a good thing? Yes. All right, give me a high five right. on that. Suddenly, Susan's Kathy Griffin. We'll be right back. Before we play Munchkin Madness, Kath, tell everybody how, when you're going to do your Gilders Club thing. Oh, okay. Um, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, Gilders Club, a benefit for, it's a, you know, named after Gilda Radner. It's an organization that helps people with cancer, families of people with cam cancer. April 17th at the, oh, um, oh, good. April There's 17th, Gilders number. Club of South Florida. Call for tickets, 954-963-9499. April 17th. And it's a great organization. Yes. It is. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play uh, a game I like to call Munchkin Madness. With the help of two studio <laughs> audience members, the object of this game, and whoever thought of this is going to be fired, whoever catches five munchkins in their mouth first wins. We have to go off for 45 seconds worth of time. They don't think we're going to catch one. But I'm going My to... hair and makeup is ruined just thinking about it. OK, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing for the middle of the audience, and you're playing for the sides, OK? For me? You're playing for the All sides. Right. I'm playing for the middle. And. Um, <laughs> The winner, the winner, whoever catches the most munchkins wins. Um, you guys win free a dozen donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Start the music, John. Start the clock and throw the donuts. cheat because I didn't catch one, so it actually stayed within my job club guidelines. The whole audience, you all get Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs>